By the way, I'm an ST200 model. I mean, I thought you might be interested to know that. Are you familiar with Schrodinger's cat? Until you decide what happens, everything is happening at once. Like in Detroit. Okay. Let's jump in. Wonder how it's gonna go today. Ooh, Connor. Why did you shoot me last night? <laughs> Who cares? You're back this morning, aren't you? Some fragments of memory are lost every time I'm destroyed. It slows down the investigation. My humblest apologies. I promise I'll never shoot you again. Hello. Thank you, Lieutenant. Konnichiwa. <laughs> Hi, Hank. Shit, what's going on here? There was a party and nobody told me about it? Party, party, yeah. yeah. It's all over the news, so everybody's butting their nose in. Even the FBI wants a piece of the action. Ah, Grace, now we got the feds on our back. I knew this was gonna be a shitty day. So what do we got? A group of four androids. They knew the building and they were very well organized. I'm still trying to figure out how they got this far without being noticed. <laughs> Check the Undercover. Roof. Not yet. There's so much to look at. Mm. Have to make sure we check it out. Not really much on the roof, to be fair. They attacked two guards in the hallway. They knocked one out and shot the other in cold blood. Bad decisions. Station employee. Shot through the back as he was trying to get away. He was gonna press the button. One bullet straight through the heart from 50 feet. Now that's the kind of shooting only an android could do. Good shot. I mean, <laughs> Colin is just like, hmm? How many people were working here? Just two employees and three androids. The deviants took the humans hostage, and broadcast their message live, then made their getaway from the roof. Roof. Yeah, they jumped with parachutes. We're still trying to figure out where they landed, but the weather's not helping. One of the deviants, SWAT, took it out. It's mm -hmm. a pity they couldn't manage to capture it alive. Oh, yeah. Uh-oh. Oh, Lieutenant, this is Special Agent Perkins from the FBI. Lieutenant Anderson is in charge of investigating for Detroit police. What's that? My name is Connor. I'm the android sent by Cyberlife. Androids investigating androids, huh? Mm hmm You sure you want an android hanging around? After everything that happened. Whatever. The FBI would be taking over the investigation. Uh. You should be off the case. Well, pleasure meeting you. Have a nice day. And you watch your step. <laughs> Don't fuck up my crap scene. <laughs> we know what we're prick. doing, kind of. I'll be nearby. If you need anything, just ask. So fun right, fact. Let's have a look around. Let me know fun. if you find anything. Okay. okay, Lieutenant. Fun fact. If you save the policeman at the beginning of the game, he's actually in this room, like over in this corner over here, and you can actually speak to him. And if you're on the same corner, you can have like a nice conversation. If not, he'll kind of be like, this message is the Oh, I'm not that people, corner. But it is also a warning. We will fight for our rights because we believe our cause is just. No human will live in peace until we are free. Now you know who we are and what we want. <laughs> we are alive and we demand our freedom. Demand it. I think that's RA9. <laughs> no. Deviants say RA9 will set them free. This android seems to have that objective. Yeah. Not really. He's terrible. I'm surprised they're still letting him be in charge, to be honest. Oh, Reflection. Prototype RK200. Registered as Marcus. So give from the creator to Carl. You see something? Identified its model and serial number. Anything else I should know? 
No. Nothing. Uh huh. Weird. You keep enough from him? I'm confused. Why didn't you tell him whose name was? That's weird. Sorry, Myman. I'm so sorry. You had to go. I mean, I don't know why they shot him because he was already wounded, so... Let's interrogate these guys. I know which one it is, though. You. State your model. Model GB300. Serial number 336-445-581. What is your function? I am a broadcast operator. Has anybody accessed your memory recently? Not to my knowledge. Have you been in contact with any other androids recently? Only station androids in the normal course of my function. Were you present when the Deviants broke in? I do not remember. Do not remember. Diagnostic. All systems fully operational. Hmm. I check the CCTV first, okay. Fair enough. Let's go check the CCTV. Then we can interrogate them. I don't really want to go to the roof. There's not really much to do up there. Ah, oh, Connor! Ew! Mm -hmm. yeah, but isn't this where the security cameras are as well? Oh, are they over here? I forget. We're not going to the roof. Mm-hmm. I guess we've got to sit in the chair. Take a load off, take a seat. <laughs> there we go. Da -da 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 -da. Nope. He let us in. Dun dun dun. Break in. No, no signs of forced entry. There are cameras in the hallway. The staff would have seen what was happening. Why did they let him in? Maybe they didn't check the cameras. Mm-hmm. Suspicious. go again. I've never done it in that order before. I've always checked the room first, then gone to the android, so. Interesting. Because I know who it is. <laughs> One of you saw the attack on the surveillance cameras and said nothing. Which means there's a deviant in this room. And I'm going to find out which it is. You're going to be switched off. We're going to search your memory and tear you apart piece by piece for analysis. You're going to be destroyed. Do you hear me? Destroy! <laughs> oh, baby Connor. Trying to be bad cop. And then... If you give yourself up, maybe I can convince the humans not to destroy you. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Very 
you're not looking yet. Why should you all be destroyed if only one is deviant? Turn yourself in or two innocent androids will be shot oh. down because of you. He looked. I saw he looked. Bad decisions. Bio component 8451. Regulates the heartbeat. Without this module, you'll shut down in exactly 63 seconds. I could put it back. You just have to tell me the truth. Are you the Deviant? Oh no. <laughs> Baby, how dare you? This is not how he will die. Oh, my God, come on. Okay. Stop. It's a deviant. Stop it. Uh oh. Okay. Uh. 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 Oh, I should have done that. Dang it. Nice shot, Connor. I should have got shot. Dang I it. Alive. You saved <sighs> human lives. I didn't mean to. <laughs> you saved my life. Uh, uh, I didn't mean to. I know that sounds bad. I didn't mean to. Because this is bad decision. <laughs> oh, oh well. I'll take the win. Oh dear. I mean... Oh my god. There's stuff I still haven't done here? What the hell? I mean, I did skip stuff out, but I didn't... What? What is all this bit? Is that the rooftop? Ah, oh, that must be the rooftop. Dang it. Oh, I guess there is some extra ones as well. Wow, okay. I guess like time runs out and I do nothing. Ah, oh, I should have done this one. Draw the gun. Oh, protect Hank. Yeah, if I had protected Hank, I'd have died. Dang it. I should have done that, but oh well. I have got him killed a little bit before, so... So I know like, one of the trophies is to have Connor die every single way possible, but like it's hard to get to those points sometimes. Oh yeah, she likes me now for some new reason. Because <laughs> I read her a bedtime story, she's now liking me. Help! It's cold. I freezing. Oh. Looking for Rose? Is she here? What do you want with her? I need to talk to her. She doesn't want to talk. Go away. Please, I really need to see her. I'm Rose. Rose. What can I do for you? 
I was told you could help us. Help you? <laughs> Come on. It's better if we talk inside. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Hi. What? Do you think we can trust them? We have to be careful. If it feels wrong, we get out fast, okay? <laughs> I'm with you. Come in. Trust no one. <laughs> <laughs> What's your name? Alice. She's running a fever. We've spent the last few nights outside. She's exhausted. There's her spare room upstairs. You can put her to bed and I'll bring her something to eat. Adam, will you show them upstairs? Have a child, be nice to me. Oh. Yep. Oh, sorry, Els. Smash her into a wall. Oh. Alice, I go first. I have to check it's safe. It's safe. <laughs> yep. Safe. You are protected. Oh my god, do it yourself, kid. to understand them. Wait. Why can't we just talk to each other? They'd she say just... we're not bad. We're not bad. She knows? Sometimes it's easier to hate than to huh. talk. She knows? I don't know what you like, but I made you Rose's world-famous spaghetti. You'll be back on your feet in no time. There's something for her fever. Thank you. So Rose, I'll um, get these washed and dried. Alice knows. Huh. Interesting. I'll be downstairs if you need anything. <laughs> get some sleep. And tomorrow you'll be stronger than me. Hmm. Cute. I'll stay with her a while. Okay. Night. <laughs> so I'm really curious about what's going to happen in a minute because I've always done it the good way so I'm kind of curious to see what would happen if I did it the bad way or like basically didn't do anything to see if whether or not we get a different outcome. I didn't or get a name. I'm Kara. This is my son, on. Adam. I'm Rose, but you know that already. Mm -hmm. Come and have a seat, Kara. Here we go. So are you going to tell me what a deviant's doing in the snow with a little girl? Mm -hmm. It's a long story. 
All that matters now is that we move on from here and start a new life. Uh. Why are you helping us? <laughs> Most humans hate androids. My people were often made to feel their lives were worthless. Some survived, but only because they found others who helped them along the way. You and your son live here alone. My husband passed away two years ago. Adam and I, we've just been trying to scrape by. We grow vegetables to sell at the market. <laughs> we'll never be rich, but there's always food on the table. <laughs> uh... I don't know how to thank you. Alice wouldn't have survived another night outdoors. I just try to lend a helping hand when I can. We've heard you help androids cross the border. Can you help <laughs> uh, us? No. The Trust only me. way is over no. the river, and it's mostly frozen in winter. It's very risky. And after that android speech on TV, everybody's on edge. It's probably safer for you to stay here until things settle down. We can't keep hiding like this. Nope. Alice needs to feel safe and have a normal life. Well, we have to get across that No wish. No matter what. Ow. <laughs> please. Please. You've got to help us. Pretty, pretty, please. Rose, come quickly. Hello. <laughs> Who is this person? What's going on? It's Mary. She just shut down. Hey. We escaped together. We used to talk about what we would do once we got across the border. I loved her. I loved her more than anything. What will I do without her? I wasn't sleepy. <laughs> Is she okay? Walk over and stare at him, you little weird child. <laughs> she didn't want to stay in her room any longer. You all right, Kara? Yeah. No. Yes. I'm fine. Liar. We can't hide them. Not after what those deviants did today. It's too dangerous. Do you know what will happen if the police find them here? <laughs> we'll go to prison, Mom. We're gonna find out. Do you understand me? Prison! Adam! We've already talked about this. I, uh, no! I won't back down this time. You're gonna ruin our lives, and for what? For a bunch of machines? They are not machines! They are alive! I'm alive! You're alive! They... They're nothing! And none of this would be happening if Dad was still here. I will not stand for that kind of talk. I'm not going to prison because you want to help these freaks. That is enough, Adam! That's enough! Ooh, drama. I live for drama. <laughs> Don't speak to your mother that way, boy. Excuse me. Mm -hmm. 
Don't mind him. Awkward. Sometimes it just boils over. It's been hard since his dad passed away. But he's a fine boy. Uh, seems it, yeah. I'll go see about getting you across the border tonight, okay? You stay here. I won't be long. He might not come back to something happy. It depends on how things go. I'm not sure how the outcome can be, so I'm kind of curious. Hmm... God, where are you going, Alice? Ah, can't do it. There you go. Ah. Cozy by the fire. You know what happened back there, don't you? You Died. know that you don't want to tell me? I thought we didn't keep secrets from each other. Mm. If I tell you, you won't love me anymore. Alice, you know that's not true. I don't love you. <laughs> I know the answer anyway, kid. Adam! <laughs> I know you think we're just machines. <laughs> but since I met Alice, I know I can feel things. I care for her. I fear for her. I can't be happy if she's not. <laughs> this probably doesn't make any sense to you, but... I know she changed me somehow. I mean, she sacrificed her own father's life for me. <laughs> it's beautiful. <laughs> dun dun dun! The police! Shh. It's the police! Shh. What are we gonna do? Uh, they know we're here. We have to open the door. Uh, I knew this was gonna happen. Come. I knew it. Uh, I'm kind of curious what happens if I just open the door. Can I just open the door? Oh, I can. Good evening, ma'am. Sorry to disturb you. We've had reports of androids in the area. With all this deviant business going on, you can't be too careful. Do you mind <laughs> if I ask you a few questions? <laughs> of course. Yeah, I'm just gonna Good let him do what he wants. I'm just... Good evening. I'm curious to see what happens if he finds anything. Normally I'd hide everything, but I'm not going to. Be interesting. Would you like a cup of coffee? I'll I'd make a cup of coffee. Have you noticed anything unusual recently? Any unexpected do, do, visitors? Do, 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 do. No. No, nothing in particular. Is anyone else in the house? There's. There's my daughter. She's asleep upstairs. I don't know what's going to happen. I'm really curious. Do you have any androids here? No, there are no androids here. <laughs> oh dear. Uh, what's with the blue blood? I thought you didn't have any androids. It belonged to the, the previous tenant. I, 
I still haven't cleared all that out yet. <laughs> um, to, to, to drink your coffee. Coffee, yeah. Oh. Don't move. No, Luther. Oh, interesting. Wait, what? Does that shit can happen? You're gonna have to finish the journey without me. Oh my god. Oh, I'm sorry, Lisa. Loser! <laughs> okay. Get yourselves ready. We leave tonight. <laughs> wow. Okay, I did not expect that. Jesus. Whoa. Luther died by killing the policeman. The policeman left. What is this one? Ah, interesting. Okay. I'm sorry, Lisa. Hmm. Uh oh. <laughs> Jericho. Our broadcast is all over the news. Now humans know. They took Marcus's message as a threat. He did the right thing. This is the only language humans understand. Violence is never the answer. A confrontation will get us nowhere. I mean, you're not wrong. <laughs> Simon paid with his life. Simon gave his life for our cause. What difference does that make? He's a hero. He died for the revolution, and he won't be the last. I don't want a revolution that spills blood. Then live as a slave. Because if you're not willing to fight for your freedom, maybe you don't deserve it. North, don't you... That's enough! <laughs> don't you have a gun, my girlfriend! <laughs> and now what are we gonna do? Uh, I don't know. <laughs> Probably nothing. <laughs> there are five cyber life stores across Detroit. <laughs> all selling us like merchandise. Oh, yeah. We're going to attack those stores and set our people free. Are we? Attack stores? <laughs> oh, we've never done that before. They're probably protected. They have security systems. We break into five teams, one for each store. We hack their security systems and we strike. <laughs> Simultaneously at 2 a.m. No violence. <laughs> we free our people and get them out of there before the police come. This is a night our people will remember. Are you sure, darling? <laughs> Not when I'm in control. <laughs> I've been waiting a long time for this. <laughs> you might be waiting a bit longer. <laughs> oh, I'm excited. This is going to be the biggest letdown ever. Okay, I'm coming. Wait, which way? Oh no! You ruined, you ruined it! <laughs> it's not supposed to run! It's okay, they're gone. That was rude. There's probably even more police in the area. We should be careful. <laughs> You're not supposed to hide. Hey, the cop scene saved you. The store's over here. The cutscene saved your booty. Oh, hello. That's what we are to them. Just merchandise on display in a shop window. Soon they'll know what we really are. Let's get them out. We'll stick to the plan. We'll neutralize the alarm systems and secure the area. There's ten minutes until all our teams attack. <laughs> What are you waiting for? What am I waiting for? Nothing. You see the alarm system? Ding! Found it. 
Where'd it go? Uh. Where do we start? I identify the security system. I think we'll be able to deactivate it. Just follow me. Okay, Please wait. Ah! You killed me. Ah! What are you doing, Marcus? Hello. Be my friend. You're awake now. Go to Jericho. Yes, sir. I should not be a slave anymore to the people. I shall be slave to you, sir. <laughs> and you're terrible. <laughs> Marcus, watch out. You were committing a class three offense. This infraction is being reported to the police. Stay where you are. <laughs> I told you to watch out. You said watch out, but not what for? Oh, I'm sorry. Next time you need to take cover, I'll send you a memo. Thank you. Uh. Uh. They're coming, Marcus. Uh. Marcus. Uh. What do I do? I don't know what to do. Uh. What are you doing, Marcus? We gotta get know. out of here right now. I don't know. I don't. I'm, I'm panicking. I'm panicking. I'm panicking. Bad decisions. Ah! We gotta go. What? <laughs> we can't just leave the people behind. It's too late. If we stay here, we're gonna get shot. North. Our people need us alive. There's nothing else we can do. Marcus! <laughs> Marcus, we did it. All teams succeeded. Our people are free. We're heading back to Jericho. Shit! We screwed up. Our people are still prisoners in that fucking store, and it's all our fault. No, it's my fault. I missed this. At least our other team succeeded. How could you get this so wrong? <laughs> I thought you knew what you were doing. Have you seen me? I did what I could. I'm sorry that's not enough for you. No, it's not enough. This is a war we're fighting with the humans. If we fail, they'll destroy us. The fate of our people is in your hands. Why? You have to succeed. Have you seen how bad he's no been choice. the entire time? And you're giving him... <laughs> I trust him to lead and he literally is messing everything up. <laughs> oh, we decided to flee. <laughs> oh. Oh, still hostile. Oh, yeah. So if you continue with everything there and shoot the people, one of the cops is his friend, so gladly didn't do that already horrible enough to hang as it is Kamsky left Cyberlife ten years ago why did you want to meet him? <laughs> this guy created the first android to pass the Turing test Wait. and he's the founder of Cyberlife anybody mm -hmm. can tell us about Deviance, it's him Okay. Ready to meet someone you've seen several times at the beginning of the episode? Ta da! Hi. Uh, I'm uh, Lieutenant Hank Anderson, Detroit Police Department. I'm here to see uh, Mr. Elijah Kamsky. Please, come in. Thank you. It's cold. Okay. Appreciate it.
I'll let Elijah know you're here. But please make yourself comfortable. Thank you. I shall. First off. Look who it be. She died. So who the hell am I talking to? Nice girl. That's it. It's not a girl. It's an android that looks like a girl. <laughs> I know what it is, Connor. <laughs> nice place. Beautiful. Guess androids haven't been a bad thing for everybody. You're about to meet your maker, Connor. How's it feel? Kamsky is one of the great geniuses of the 21st century. It'll be interesting to meet him in person. <laughs> Sometimes I wish I could meet my creator face to face. I'd have a couple of things I'd want to tell him. <laughs> Just gonna sit in silence. This is not awkward at all. Perfectly fine. I mean... Oh, thank God. <laughs> Elijah, uh, we'll see you now. Thank you. Appreciate it. Chloe. <laughs> Mr. Kamsky? Just a moment, please. Sure. Get out now. Thank you. Appreciate it. <laughs> what are you talking about? Hmm. Hello, chap. I'm Lieutenant Anderson. This is Connor. What can I do for you, Lieutenant? Sir, we're investigating deviants. I know you left Cyberlife years ago, but I was hoping you'd be able to tell us something we don't know. <laughs> well? Deviants. Fascinating, aren't they? Perfect beings with infinite intelligence. And now they have free will. Yep. Machines are so superior to us. Confrontation was inevitable. Humanity's greatest achievement threatens to be its downfall. Isn't it ironic? Deviancy seems to spread like some kind of virus. You tell. We thought you might know something about that. All ideas of viruses that spread like epidemics. Is the desire to be free a contagious disease? Listen, I didn't come here to talk philosophy. The machines you created may be planning a revolution. Either you can tell us something that'll be helpful, or we will be on our way. What about you, Connor? <laughs> what about me? I'm as angry as I come. I'm on the human side, of course. <laughs> kind of. Well, that's what you're programmed to say. But you. What do you really want? Oh, um... What I want is not important. Chloe? I'm sure you're familiar with the Turing test. Your formality. Simple question of algorithms and computing capacity. What interests me 
is whether machines are capable of empathy. I call it the uh, Kamsky test. It's very simple, you'll see. I'm sorry. I'm going to disappoint you both. Isn't wow. it? One of the first intelligent models developed by Cyberlife. I'm really going to upset Hank right now. Young. I'm sorry. And beautiful forever. A flower that will never wither. What is it really? A piece of plastic containing a human? Or a living uh -huh. being? With a soul? Oh, God. Sorry. It's up to you to answer that fascinating question, Connor. Uh. Destroy this machine, and I'll tell you all I know. Or spare it, if you feel it's alive. But you'll leave here without having learned anything from me. <laughs> okay, I think we're done here. Come on, Connor, let's go. Sorry to get you What's out of here. What's more important to you, Connor? Your investigation or the life of this android? <sighs> Sorry, Hank. Sorry who you are. An obedient machine. Or a living being. Sorry, Endowed bad decision. This is That's bad enough. Decision. Connor, we're leaving. Pull the trigger. Connor! Don't! And I'll tell you what you want to know. Oh, I'm sorry. Fuck! I'm so sorry. That's negative. You choose your investigation over the life of another android, you feel no empathy. I'm a man of my word. I ask one question, and I'll tell you all I know. <laughs> um. I want to know where Jericho is. Jericho. <laughs> a place where androids are free. Yep. A place for deviants who rise up against their creator. Tell me the location. They transmit a piece of code to each other in order to find their sanctuary. Is this she is a deviant? A boat. Now you have the key. Thank you. Ferndale Station is the door. Okay. Don't touch me. A war is coming. You'll have to choose your side. Uh, I'm you pretty sure he, he already chose. Or stand against side. your creators. I wouldn't like to be in your shoes, Connor. What could be worse than having to choose between two evils? I do feel for Connor. Though in this instance, he's not too bothered, to be honest. By the way, I always leave an emergency exit in my programs. I know. You never know. I don't think I'll be needing it, though. And it's such a pain in the backside to find. You shot that girl, for fuck's sake. It wasn't a girl, Lieutenant. It was a machine that looked like a girl. You put your gun against her head and you blew her fucking brains out. I did what I had to do to advance the investigation and I'd do it again if I had to. You're a low life. You don't feel a thing, do you? A machine, that's what you are. You're just a fucking machine. Of course I'm a machine, Lieutenant. What did you think I was? I thought you... Mm. I thought... I'm sorry. Sorry, Hank. What's the only thing I really hate is I hate that doing this path fudges up their relationship and makes Connor a bad guy and Hank just, yeah, I hate it. Oh dear.
<laughs> Here we go. beautiful. I don't know what it's called, what it is, but it's beautiful. <laughs> oh, he's losing it. Don't jump! There's no water at the bottom. Oh dear. Oh dear. I was wondering where you were. I was hiding. Playing the piano. I just needed to be alone. I like it here. I come here often. It's like being alone with the world. We freed hundreds of our people and they're still coming from all over the city. Hmm. Those who dream of freedom come to Jericho. Something's changing. Indeed. You seem preoccupied. <laughs> uh. I panicked last night. We should have succeeded. <laughs> I cannot afford to make mistakes like that. Oh, why did you? All the media are talking about what we did last night. We didn't do anything. The humans are terrified. We literally didn't do anything. They're afraid of a civil war. We didn't do anything. Many of <laughs> our people were burned in response to what happened. Oh. The humans hate us. They'll never give us our freedom. Too late to go back now. <laughs> we have to finish what we started and just hope that reason prevails. You haven't said much about yourself since you've been with us. What was your life like before Jericho? <clears throat> Doesn't matter. There was nothing to say. I was a house android, a slave, just like the others. <laughs> <laughs> Where are you going? To talk to the humans. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> oh no. Why is this um This is suicide. We'll all be killed. Please, Marcus. It's not too late to change your mind. You don't understand. We're finally gonna show them who we really are. This place will go down in history. We'll be killed on the spot. That's the risk I'm prepared to take if it means freedom for our people. I mean, you Marcus, guys might be okay. Don't do this. And me, on the other hand. They'll understand. <laughs> we'll make them understand. <laughs> this is the only way. For the greater good. The there greater are good. androids here who could join us. The more we are, the stronger our message. Mm hmm. Hey. Hello. Oh, there it is. Ah! You're free. Oh. Why, oh, thank you, sir. Kindly. Yes, yes. <laughs> you're free. I mean, you're literally walking through there saying. You're free, really loudly, like. <laughs> ah, I always forget you. Come with us. Oh, no, I don't. You're awake now. <laughs> not discreet. <laughs> like, you're literally not discreet. Uh, finally. I've been on hold for like 10 minutes. You're free now. Oh, thank hey. you. Where do you think you're going? 
You get back here. I need you to block the street. Right <laughs> oh, he just walked off. Anyway, okay. You don't have to obey them. You're free. <laughs> You're free. Huh? You're free. <laughs> Dun dun dun. There we go. Come, my friends. Okay. Kara. Oh my god. You're free now. I hate how, like, it's all like this. There we go. Jericho likes me, they really like me. <laughs> Wait, Jesus there. fucking Christ! It's just a few of us. This bed is Patrol 457. Oh, I got a lot of androids down here. It's all about to go down, and there's no one gonna save me. <laughs> I'm sure I'll be fine. <laughs> we came here to demonstrate peacefully and tell humans that we are living beings. 
All we want is to live free. This is an illegal gathering. Disperse immediately, or we will open fire. <laughs> We're not looking for confrontation. We've done no harm. We have no intention of doing any. Mm -hmm. But know that we are not going anywhere until we have secured our freedom. I repeat, this is an illegal gathering. If you do not disperse immediately, we will shoot. Mm -hmm. Marcus, they're gonna kill us. We have to attack. There's more of us. We can take them. If we attack, <laughs> we'll start a war. Yeah, but I we can't have to fight. show them we're not violent. We should just stand their ground, even if it means dying. This is your last chance. Disperse immediately, or you will all be killed. Don't do it, Marcus. Don't choose confrontation. Did you not know this is bad decisions? Follow me! <laughs> I'm not doing anything, Marcus. You're gonna look like such an idiot. <laughs> <laughs> This is your choice, Marcus. You deal with the consequences. <laughs> like, why do they let him follow? Why do they let him lead, even? Anything. Oh, ow. Where is everyone? Run, run. It's too late. Oh. Go north. No, no. We have to go. And now we are in the hands of North. Bye bye, Marcus. No one came to save us because Simon and John were dead. Is this an outcome that I haven't got yet? Oh my god, the lag! What on earth? Oh, Jesus, that is bad! Oh my god, the lag! Oh! What is going on? It's struggling. Okay. I don't know why it's struggling so much. Oh, my frame rate has dropped so much. Uh. Oh. Is it back? Back. Okay, I'm gonna see if that does that again. If that does that again, I'm stopping it because that is ridiculous. Like, what the hell? Why did it do that? I played, like, a high-end game of The Last of Us and it didn't do that. Okay, so now we know where that is, but I don't think we're gonna need it. <laughs> for you guys.
After what happened today, the country is on the verge of a civil war. The machines are rising up against their masters. Humans have no choice but to destroy them. Kamsky told me how to find Jericho. I know where the deviants are hiding. <laughs> You've done very well, Connor. I have indeed. Thanks to you, we now have a chance to stop the deviant revolution. Are you sure? I saw a photo of Amanda at Kamsky's place. <laughs> she was his teacher. When Kamsky designed me, he wanted an interface that would look familiar. That's why he chose his former mentor. What are you getting at? You're not alive! Did Kemsky design this place? He created the first version. It's been improved significantly since then. Why do you ask? I'm not a unique model, am I? How many Connors are there? I expect you to find answers, Connor. Not <laughs> ask questions. I wanted to ask the question. Have you experienced anything unusual recently? Any doubts or conflicts? Do you feel anything for these deviants? Mm, or for not Lieutenant this Anderson? I don't know what you're talking about. I don't feel anything. You know that. I am. Are you suggesting that I've been compromised? A machine. No, of course not. <laughs> mm-hmm. Liar, liar, pants on fire. You're off the case. The FBI is taking over. What? But we're onto something. Wait, we just need more time. I'm sure we Hank, can... you don't get it. This isn't just another investigation. It's a fucking civil war. It's out of our hands now. We're talking about national security here. Fuck that. You can't just pull the plug now. Not when we're so close. You're always saying you can't stand androids. Jesus, Hank, make up your mind. I thought you'd be happy about this. We're about to crack the case. I know we can solve it. For God's sake, Jeffrey, can't you back me up this one time? Hmm. There's nothing I can do. You're back on homicide, and the android returns to cyberlife. I'm sorry, Hank, but it's over. <sighs> oh, dear. Mm -mm. Hank, what are you doing? Something I should have done a long time ago. Listen, take a few days to think it over. There's no rush. I thought enough about it. I'm tired of going through the motions. There's nothing keeping me here. Not this case. Not my partner. I don't belong here anymore. Oh, you're gonna make me cry. Uh, Connor. Ooh, Connor left for Jericho. Well, there's another outcome that I haven't had. So much to do in this area. I really don't know why it lagged so much a minute ago. That was really weird. Frame rate just dropped all the way down. Creepy. Oh, this is so weird. Uh... They've been conducting raids all over the city. Everybody's on edge after what happened oh. yesterday. Oh, that was violent. It's gonna be all right. No, it's not. We're almost there. It's really not gonna be okay. With all androids being turned over to the authorities, the country is grinding to a halt. Hospitals and schools are closing. Water cuts, blackouts, and network failures are expected. Maybe most worrying of all, our armed forces have lost two-thirds of their effective personnel. How about some music instead? Mm -hmm. <laughs> are we there yet? Where are, are we going to the bus station or not?
Oh, she nearly got caught in the door. Where are we? A little further on that way, there's a large freighter called Jericho. Oh, right, yeah. When you yeah. get there, find Marcus. He will help you. The last bus for the border leaves at midnight. You absolutely have to be on it. You'll be safer on the other side. Awkward. It's not much, but it's a start. My brother lives in Ontario. I've given you his address. He'll be able to hide you until things calm down. You're a very brave little girl, Alice. Mm -hmm. You deserve to be happy. Thank you for everything, Rose. Let me know when you make it over there, all right? Well... And be careful. I don't really know how this is going to go, so... Don't expect anything, unfortunately. Maybe further down the line we do a it's good playthrough. And then you better you. see the difference. Because at this rate, we eat. Mm -mm. There it is. This is like the worst time to be going to Jericho. <laughs> Connor is that she on his way? Yep. Look at him undercover. At least I don't have to do all this again, that'd be really annoying. Flicking between them is so crazy. I like going in one place at one time. If, if Marcus was still alive, it would have all been in the same place. Sad times. I don't really know what's going to happen here. Subtitles. Weird. How do you feel? I'm hot and cold at the same time. Hmm. Hmm. Interesting. I'll try to find this Marcus. The last bus leaves in two hours, and it's on the other side of town. We'll go as soon as we have passports. Will you be okay? Uh, okay. Hello. <gasps> Connor! <laughs> Don't be suspicious, don't be suspicious, don't be suspicious, don't be suspicious. <laughs> oh, hello! Oh, you're not gonna let me get to her. <laughs> Not in this playthrough, I'm not. Uh, okay. It's them or us. We gotta destroy these bastards before they kill all of us. We soaked the thing and then we torched it. I mean, I think this fucker was watching over my kids. 
they, they rushed the police and was there. they slaughtered them. Those tapes are monsters. Monsters, I tell you. Following the android crisis and the control <laughs> Wait, what? We watched the same fight, right? Marcus says she did nothing. He got his booty whipped. Are you North? I'm with a little girl. There's a bus leaving for the border in less than two hours, and we need passports. Please. Detroit is under curfew. There are soldiers everywhere looking for androids. You're safe here. You should wait a while before you leave the city. Maybe you're right. You might be safer here until things calm down. One of us used to work for the State Department. He has an electronic passport so he can easily modify. I'll have him give you one. Thanks, I guess. I heard about what happened today. <laughs> the massacre. And Marcus being killed. <laughs> he gave hope to our people. He didn't even know him. We'll all miss him. He literally did everything bad. He <laughs> did everything wrong. You just stood by and watched. Did you even I fight? I would have given my life to save him, but there was nothing I could do. You didn't even fight. Like, you were so far away from him. <laughs> Thanks for your help. Appreciate it. You said you were with a little girl? You know humans hate us. Why are you protecting her? Because she's not a little girl. It's a long story. <laughs> <laughs> Did -did 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 -did. Oh, Jesus, I thought that was Connor. Dun dun dun! She's not a little girl, she's an android. She wanted a mom. You wanted a little girl. Hmm. You needed each other to survive. In the end, what difference does it make? Do you love her any less now that you know she's one of us? Maybe that's what it means to be alive. Forgetting who we are to become what someone needs us to be. Hey look, you got a twin. She loves you. She loves you more than anything in the world. She became the one you wanted her to be. Out of love for you. Oh. I've never had this because I've always had Luther here. Interesting. I think. I can't remember. You're a robot. Just like me. Oh. Oh dear. Uh, this is awkward. Slow walk. <laughs> I cooked all those meals for you. Clara, that... 
Is there something wrong? <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. I came all this way. Oh no. <laughs> That's just mean, Kara. Shouldn't listen to you, I'm sorry. She's very disobedient. Very horrible. Here we go. <clears throat> We're short on blue blood and bio components. Our people are shutting down one after another. There's nothing we can do for them. President Warren saying we're a threat to national security and that we need to be eliminated. Marcus would know what to do. He's the <laughs> one that got us into this mess. He gave his life for our cause. He provoked the humans. How much longer before they find Jericho now? We're already here. <laughs> I'm behind you. I hiding. This is dead. Blood. It's up to us. To decide the future for our people. <laughs> we have to fight them. Uh oh. It's the only way. No, no, no. If you choose a confrontation with humans, we are all going to die. Gather up all the guns you can find. We'll leave at dawn. Uh, this is a mistake, it. North. That's why she should be in charge. It's fine, I'll handle it. Hopefully. Because <laughs> somebody's hiding. Oh god. Oh, thank god. I was broken. <laughs> Trusted again, well really. Well done, Connor. You succeeded in locating Jericho and finding their leader. Now, deal with North. We need Mo it alive. Oh, oh, oh. No. I want to kill. Connor is on a rampage. Connor wants to kill. <laughs> Hello. I've been Are ordered we... to take you alive. But I won't hesitate to shoot if you give me no choice. Trust You're me. You're one of us. I'm not. You can't betray your own kind. Watch me. Don't force me to neutralize you. You're Connor, aren't you? I've heard about you. The mm -hmm. famous deviant hunter. Well, congratulations. You seem to have found what you're looking for. <laughs> you're not one of them. We are your people. We're fighting for your freedom, too. I gave you an order. Don't make me shoot you. <laughs> he will. You never me. had any doubts. Never behaved irrationally as if Seriously. there's something inside you. Something stronger than your program. Back off. You're wasting your time. I know what I am. You're one of us. Join our cause. It doesn't matter. Join no matter what people. you do or say, he cannot become deviant. It's time to decide. He can't become deviant. Nice try. But I'm no deviant. Oh, for God's sake. Shit. Hey. Oh my God, there is a <laughs> bow chicka wow wow. 
<sighs> okay. Uh oh. Quick, we've got to get out of here. The north said it was go safe. How did you find the location? You followed me? Like rats in a maze. Thank you for sacrificing yourself for us. A greater good. Kara only cares about her lot, I mean, Alice. <laughs> there was nothing we could do. I mean, there was, but. You have to go. Oh, Connor means business. Don't shoot. I'm on your side. With us? Are you a human? Obviously. What do I look like? DPD, I work with Lieutenant Hank Anderson. We're on a stakeout. If I knew you were coming, I would have brought some donuts. <laughs> you're a lucky guy. Another second I'd have shot you. You should go back up on deck and let us do our job. You're right. That's exactly what I'm gonna do. <laughs> Obviously. I love that. Why have I never oh, yeah. used that before? So I probably should do it. Come on, go join the others. Whatever happens, just stay calm. What are they going to do to us, Kara? Nothing. I don't know, Alex. I really don't know. <laughs> Sorry, I kind of wanted to see what would happen if I did that. It's down to you now, Connor. Let's get her. Why are you walking so slow? Oh, oh Josh. Yeah, because Marcus wasn't there to save you. Alright, let's go. Ah! Oh, dang it! Don't move! 
Don't shoot. I'm on your side. I Yeah. Seriously. Why would you do that? That was mean. I was on your side. And North got away. God damn it. We found several hundred androids in the hall, sir. Take them away. Yes, sir. And clear the ship in order for men to withdraw. This isn't over. <sighs> nope. Dropping off, discuss. So I guess she gets away anyway. So this is a new one that I got for Kara. I've never got this one. Where is it? Oh my god, how far along? Yeah, they got captured. I never got this one before. Normally either they've escaped Jericho or they're already gone. And then Connor is a very different outcome. So Machine Connor was destroyed. So I guess that's what I get. Uh, Connor confrontation. Machine Connor was destroyed. Cyberlife will send a new Connor. Oh wait, so... Oh, okay. I thought it was like a different thing. Oh wow, look at all... How have I got like hardly any but still got this one? Connor escaped with the Jericho people. There is so much here. Oh my god. What the heck? Warn Marcus. Jericho is under attack. And then there's just so much more. Wow. Okay. I'm not emotionally ready for this scene, so I'm going to end this part here. <laughs> and then that was where we're probably going to start next episode and finish in the next episode. So there'll be five parts to this series. Thank you all so much for watching. I hope you have a nice rest of your evening. I'm now going to go watch some anime before I head off to bed. <laughs> Thank you very much. Take care. And uh, 